Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. Today we will create a Caesar cipher in Python. So let's get started. I created a file called caesarencryption.py and imported the string module. And I'm going to create a variable called original text and set that equal to hello world. Then I want to shift the text to a certain number of characters, for example, three. So it's going to say hello world, but shift it by three letters. So it should output something like this. So for example, an A will be a D, a B will be an E, and etc. So a Caesar cipher is not good for encryption because there are only 26 or 52 possibilities so you can easily guess what the encryption code is. But we're going to create a program here that shows you how to do it. So I'm going to create a variable called alphabet and set this equal to string.ascii letters. So this is the 52 letters. Then I'm going to create a variable called shifted. So this will shift the alphabet by whatever shift is. For example, here it's 3. So I'll just do this, and it will shift the alphabet by 3. Next, I want to create a table that uses the original alphabet and then translates that to the shifted alphabet. So I'll just set table equal to string.makeTrans, alphabet, and shifted. So the original alphabet is alphabet, and if it's shifted by 3, like in this case, shifted, is the original alphabet moved three characters to the right. Then I'm going to have our encrypted text and set that equal to original text dot translate and we will be using the table which we just defined above. Now I can print encrypted and it should work. And when I run it, it outputs hello world shifted three to the right and shift is a multiple of 52 since there's 52 unique combinations and for example if I did 26 and ran this again I would get hello world but this time in all capital letters. Now that we know how to do this for letters let's create a Caesar function. I created the file called Caesar function.py and imported string like before and then I'm going to create a function and call it Caesar, and it's going to take in three parameters the text, whatever the shift is, and all the alphabets that it's shifting by. Then inside of the outer function, I'm going to create an inner function that shifts one of the alphabets, and it will take in one parameter alphabet, and it's just going to return the shifted alphabet. Then I want to create a variable called shifted alphabets that shifts all the alphabets and I'm going to set this equal to a tuple and then I'm going to map it and I'm going to map it to the function shift alphabet and have all the alphabets be sent to shift alphabet. And then I'll have a final alphabet where I'll join all the alphabets. And I'll do the same thing for the final shifted alphabet. I'll make a table again like before, and I'll have the final alphabet and the final shifted alphabet. Then I'll just return text.translate, and I'll be using the table. I'm then going to create a variable called original text like before, and I'll say hello world, and I'll have an exclamation point at the end. Then I want to print something from the Caesar function and the first value is the text which is the original text and then we'll shift it by three again and then we'll have a list of all the alphabets so I'll say string.ascii letters and run this now and it works but it doesn't shift the exclamation point since it's not a letter if I want to do this I can add to the end of the list string dot punctuation now that i added this i can run it again and it translates the exclamation point into a dollar sign 
And that's an overview of how to create a Caesar cipher in Python. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.